Thanks so much for spending your night with us tonight. Coming up tomorrow, Back to School Week continues with Alpine Academy and the perfect brain game to get your kids ready for their first test on game day. One more thing before we go tonight, our weekly teacher check-in is back. We are kicking off this school year season with Robin Enders. Hey Robin, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, okay, so tell us what you do at school and uh, how the year's going so far. <laughs> So I'm a middle school counselor in DeKalb and we just started school last Thursday. So, so far so good. So what is the life of a middle school counselor like? Because it sounds like it could be, there's probably a lot going on. <laughs> there is a lot going on and uh, no day, no two days are the same for huh. sure. Um, right now we're working on a lot of schedule changes and making sure that kids have their electives in place and their right schedules that they need. Um, and then just coming back to school nerves and um, yeah. like just anxiety about starting a new school year and not knowing what they're doing or where they're going and those kind of things are pretty common for the first couple of days of school. Do you have like a lot of ongoing appointments or is it more like as needed? I don't really remember interacting with my guidance counselor much in <laughs> junior high. <laughs> um, right now it's a lot of just like as needed stuff uh -huh. as kids are kind of like figuring out what they need. But as the school year progresses, I will definitely have um, scheduled appointments to meet with students and um, they also know how to contact me pretty easily if they need something from me. So when you were growing up, did you know that you always want to work with kids? Um, I did, but I didn't go directly into that path because when I graduated from college, I thought, boy, getting um, a master's degree doesn't seem like it's going to make me any money. It's going to cost me money. So <laughs> this was not my first career, but now that I'm here, I'm really glad that I am here and I love my job. How did you end up like being in the middle school as a guidance counselor? Like what came first, the middle school or the guidance counselor? <laughs> um, definitely the counselor part came first uh -huh. and I did an internship with middle schoolers and um, they're really a great age group because they're not so little, so they understand like humor and sarcasm and those kind of things, uh -huh. but they're also not um, grown or think they're more grown in high school. And so they're still really good to like help formulate opinions and help them help create them into people um, that they're going to be as they grow into adults. So, I think yeah, that's I love that. so true. And I think that your job is like so important. Because when I look back to those ages, I can't remember anything I learned, but like I can remember <laughs> how teachers made me feel and you can like how your friends and how you always like need somebody like those are the hardest mental ages I think to go through. So knowing I, yes. I know you post on Facebook all the time, like how much interactions you actually have with students. That's mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. And they're so funny and they um, it's really nice to watch them like learn and grow and then come back and say like oh I should you were right I sh that actually did happen to me or I should have listened to you or can you believe how much drama I had in middle school and <laughs> it's just funny to watch them grow into the people that they are yeah what are you most looking forward to this school year say that again what are you most looking forward to this school year um, well, my students are eighth graders this year, and so I've known them for three years. So watching them transition into high yeah. school is going to be really exciting and watching just like finishing out my time with them um, is really what I'm looking forward to this year. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Robin, thank you so much for hanging out today. <laughs> of course. Thanks for asking me. For sure. Good luck with everything. Bye-bye. Great. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah. So we, of course, love chatting with teachers and education professionals in the state line area. So I'm asking you to send us your favorite teachers. We started this last year. So if maybe if you're new to Good Day State Line, you don't know, we started this in the middle of last year and it's been so fun, not only uh, for me to be able to talk to these teachers and learn more about what's going on in the classroom, but for everybody watching, we get comments about how cool it is to see the day-to-day -day life of a teacher. We don't get to hear about it if we're not really in the education system. Even parents, you know, you ask your kid what they did today and they're like, a lunch. You know, they don't necessarily tell you everything cool that's happening in the school year. One of our teachers from last year was actually um, encouraging all of her students to write a page in a book that they got published and we ended up being able to go visit them. We have the book uh, in the Mahoney and Mahoney Blue Room. So it's just a fun experience to be able to interact with all these teachers. So that's what we're asking you. Send us an email, gds at fox39.com. Just let us know if maybe you are the teacher that you want to chat with us on a Tuesday for the weekly teacher check-in or somebody else that you know that we definitely need to reach out to. We will have another teacher on next Tuesday. It is one of the most fun things we do. We hope you have a great rest of your night today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.